This is the brand new Polaroid One Step 2 and it looks amazing. I got this one about two months ago and I wanted to see how it compared to my other Polaroid cameras. Like my very first Polaroid, the Amigo 620. This one came out in the early 80s and it looks great and still works today. Or just like the Land camera that came out in the late 70s. This one's called the Button. What gave that away? Or the 1600, the super futuristic looking camera that came out around 2001. I've had a lot of Polaroids, but we gotta get back to this one. Now, there are a ton of things that I absolutely love about this camera. Like if you're considering it to be your first camera or your first instant camera, you gotta know that it's easy to use. Secondly, it's super lightweight. So if you're out and about and you're shooting all day with it, it's not gonna weigh you down. Last but not least, it's got a really long battery life, like more than 60 hours worth of battery life. And those are all good things. But now we gotta talk about what goes inside of these cameras. For the longest time, you only had one option when it came to film inside your Polaroid. But now, we've got a couple of more. So for the one step two, you can either use the Color 600 film that can be used in these brand new cameras or in pretty much any vintage 600 camera or this brand new iType film, which is pretty interesting itself. Both of these films are gonna give you eight attempts to take great photos. And just like with anything, practice makes perfect. The thing that's on everybody's mind when it comes to these new cameras and this new film is how much it cost. See, for the iType film, it cost $15.99 US. And that's okay if you already know how much instant film cost. But for the 600 film, it's $18.99. And that's basically because it's got a battery. For the longest time when Polaroid was making cameras, minus the one step that they recently came out with, the viewfinder on their Polaroid cameras was back here. It was the actual viewfinder. You had to look through it to see what you were looking at. I mean, that's pretty much standard on so many of Polaroid's cameras. Um, you actually had to look through the viewfinder. On the One Step 2, however, it's just a piece of glass. It might even just be plastic. Can you, can you see? Can you see me? The problem with that, I mean, it's, it's designed very well in the sense that they place it right here and you know you can look through and you can take your shot. The problem with that is it's made the field of view when you're looking through the viewfinder a little wonky. When you're looking through the viewfinder and you're trying to line up your shot, if you don't compensate for the fact that this isn't perfectly in line where it should be if you were gonna take a, a shot with a normal camera, you have to compensate for the fact that you gotta back up because it's gonna cut the subjects off. And nobody wants that. Thanks for taking the time and watching this video. If you shoot Polaroid or you have a Polaroid camera, tell me what you think. Leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you check me out on Instagram.